Hi everybody, well the time is here. Resident Evil 4 Remake has dropped this morning, well last night, and for PC, PlayStation and Xbox, and here I am playing it on PC. Um, really looking forward to this title, really looking forward to this title. I never played the original Resident Evil 4, well, I've played a little bit of the original Resident Evil 4 on Xbox 360, I think, or Xbox One, but I couldn't really get over the tank controls um, and so, you know, so I kind of kind of gave up a little bit. Um, but since then, I've played the Resident Evil 2 remake. Really like that. The Resident Evil 3 remake, and I really like that as well. Previously, I've also played Resident Evil 7. Started off playing that in VR. Um, finished it in normal, though. Thought that was absolutely fantastic. Um, and then the Resident Evil games I played before that was the original Resident Evil 2. Funnily enough, on N64, when they brought it out on um, uh, a cartridge, I think it was like the most expensive N64 cartridge you could buy outside of Street Fighter. Um, and then on PlayStation 2, I guess it would have been, I played Re Resident Evil Nemesis, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and Resident Evil Code Veronica. And I really, really liked, you know, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Code Veronica. Um, and so when I went back and played the Resident Evil 4 remake, I I thought that was absolutely... Uh, sorry, Resident Evil 2 remake, I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Originally played it on the PlayStation uh, 4, and then finished it on the PC. And I, and I know a lot of people think the Resident Evil 3... Um, remake is a little bit short, but I, I think I, that's probably why I enjoyed it a little bit more. It's just a little bit more action orientated as well. It's not very nice, is it? So, Resident Evil 4 is considered by many to be um, one of the best games in the franchise. Um, and um, it's, I understand, a little bit more action orientated than uh, 2 and 3 and uh, Veronica. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is that one of the things I thought was really cool about Resident Evil 2 and 3 was Raccoon City. Um, and of course, Raccoon City got nuked at the end of was it Resident Evil 2 and 3, isn't it? it kind of, they're kind of happening at a similar sort of time. Um, and where this obviously is, you know, we're in Spain, we're looking for the president's missing daughter. Um, a very different environment. This kind of reminds me of Resident Evil 7. Now, Resident Evil 7, I kind of thought of it as like a, a standalone um, experience. Well, it was a standalone experience, wasn't it? It was, it was a new character. And I haven't played Resident Evil Village yet, Resident Evil 8. Um, but this is Leon. Uh, this is, you know, from Resident Evil 2. Um, so it should be really, really good. So that the, the only thing I'm kind of worried about is whether losing the sort of urban... Um, side of Resident Evil, you know, with Raccoon City and then with like all the weird laboratories underneath the city and all that sort of stuff, but going into a more kind of fant almost fantasy realm. Um, with because I know there's things like castles, isn't there, and stuff like that in here. Whether that will for me lose some of the appeal, but I don't know. I mean, initial impressions are it looks very, very good indeed. Um, playing Resident Evil 2 remake again last night for a little bit. One of the things that came across, and I remember this when I first started playing the Resident Evil 2 remake, in, at, when you first start playing it, the graphics, although interesting, because you've got these amazingly um, rendered um, environments that you're in, Anyone home? It, it, I, you kind of felt that it could have looked better, but as you play it, those considerations drop away. Um, and you can then start really appreciating for how how good it looks. Whereas Resident Evil 3 Remake, I think, looks better straight away. And that's what I can say about this. This looks really good, um, really good straight away. Um, right. be interesting to see if they do a first-person mode for this, like they've done for Resident Evil um, 7. Uh, Resident Evil 8, sorry. Or, or, or it was first person, and they did a third person mode for it, didn't they? Yep, 
it's interesting the decision to go with third person. Obviously, the, indiv- the original was third person, but I think these games are much scarier when they're in first person. Resident Evil Seven, my gosh, that scared the bejeebas out of me. That one. Okay, so we need a key for that. In fact, this is the the same as the chainsaw demo. Um, and if you want to sort of have a taster of uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake, the chainsaw demo is available to f- to play for free on all platforms. He's the police officer that um, you're looking for. So basically, your your job is to find the president of the Ameri- United States of America. <laughs> His daughter's gone missing. Presumably, there's lots of agents all over Europe looking for her, and you're in Spain and you're in this police car with a couple of coppers. Pulls over because one of them wants a wee. He then wanders off, Ugh. Um, and then disappears. And you've got to go. You go and sort of look for him, um, and our adventure begins. I guess you were probably fo- following up a lead that the present daughter may be somewhere around here like this. So we've got our gun and we've got our knife, but they do wear out. I mean, we're really up to photorealistic, aren't we, almost, with these graphics now. So he's the old copper who got out of the car first. And that guy on the road, presumably, is the younger copper who stayed behind. What was that? Uh oh. This just keeps getting worse. 
He does not look very well, does he? Let's hope he doesn't get up again. Yeah, so it's going to be really interesting to see whether this game will appeal to... Because what I like about Resident Evil is the atmosphere. You know, the, the, the horror side of it and the slow, shambolic... Uh, zombies uh, that we've got in, you know, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, but and I understand. We... Where do we go next? That you know, this is much more action oriented. Okay, let's take guys. I don't really want to go in there. Okay, so we can't get back out. I think there's some stairs we've got to go up. Is it here? Yeah, here we go. President's daughter. Bruce, this is Condor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? President's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need the location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Yeah, because these guys, they're not zombies like they've been infected with the T-Virus from Resident Evil um, 2 and 3, are they? This is this is something else that's happening here. Maybe in a similar way to the strange virus that infected the, the family in uh, Resident Evil 7. This look, I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> it really does. I always think... When I'm playing with Resident Evil, that this is how I want my Daisy servers to feel. Do you know? I'm half. I'm playing this on normal mode, but I am half tempted to put it on easy mode, assisted mode, because it's really the experience that I'm after, not not the challenge. Although I do like, you know, solving the puzzles and things like that. Okay, so these barrels that have got the yellow marks on are the ones that we can will have goodies in for us. We just got to remember to can we Yeah, we can kick, can't we? Okay, so we we kick with uh the bottom button. I think that's A on the Xbox controller. Ooh. I hear some fellas. OK, 
Okay, our first save point. An attaché casement added to the customised case menu. Okay. Oh, we can, so we can change the look of our attaché case. Increase drop rate for handgun ammo. Charms. Oh, that's interesting. So they're they're almost like perks that you can pick up. Right. Okay. In fact, we should save now, shouldn't we? Now we've done that. One of the things I've got to get used to in this is there is like a combo uh, system. We can kind of headshot people, then kick them. <laughs> right, I can hear some baddies over here. I can hear them, but I can't see them. Oh, two is price of one. So they have these filament, th you can just about see they have these filament things coming out of their necks. Where'd he go? Or is there anything in the back of the car? So eerie. Oh, oh, sugar. Damn it. Has my health gone down, has it? Half health. But we have got a first aid spray we can do. We've got lots of gunpowder. Handgun ammo is gunpowder plus blue thing. Whatever that blue thing is. The 
controls are really good, by the way. I'm playing this on my Xbox controller. Uh, twin stick, obviously. Ooh. See, that's where I go. So the melee is... What's this flash grenade? So we got up. D-pad changes our weapon. So look in our inventory. <laughs> You set weapon shortcut by selecting the weapon in the items menu. Up to eight weapons can be assigned at once. Nice. Do we find some green herbs? Okay, so we probably need to use our first aid, don't we? Let's see if we find any green herbs first. Too good for that chap. So the zombies in Resident Evil 2 and 3 wouldn't do that, would they? You know, they're not that clever. These guys have got some sort of parasite inside them, haven't they? So, we have to make our way through the village. What's that there? Extended, expand, expanded map treasure. Ooh, probably up here and then to the lake. But this is probably a good time to finish this particular video. I think um, very, very early, very first impressions is the game looks great, it feels great, the atmosphere feels really good. Um, time will tell as I play some more today and over the next few days about how it compares to Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake, um, but so far it's looking good. Um, now, just a quick thing about buying it as well, obviously it's quite an expensive game to buy, but if you're buying it for PC... And Xbox, actually, if you go somewhere like CD Keys, you can you can get it for a few quid knocked off. This is actually the deluxe version. I got for forty two pounds, I think, instead of seventy. Um, I don't know why I bought the deluxe version. I guess maybe will it come with it if they make some DLC with it? Do you then get that for free? I don't know. But anyway, but so far so good. Um, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Looking forward to playing a lot more of this. Um, but what do you think? Put your questions and comments down below, and I will of course see you again soon.